Possibly the largest scheme that ever happened behind prison. The walls of prison. This guy's 31 years old and he stole 11 million dollars while in prison. And he did it with a contraband cell phone. All he did was he called a bank and he pretended to be a guy named Sidney Kimmel who's, who, ha who has an entertainment company behind films such as Crazy Rich Asians and Moneyball. And uh, Sidney Kimmel is a billionaire. And this guy called the bank and pretended to be him over the phone, using his contraband cell phone in a Georgia state prison, pretended to be him, and they allowed him to transfer money, and he bought a mansion for his girlfriend with the money. This is Sidney Kimmel, the man he impersonated. That woman, he also impersonated her and stole $2 million from her account, all while from prison. So, he purchased a $10 million mansion. He was able to hire a private security team to transport coin, blah, blah, blah. Yep, Cofield reportedly had been had been transferred to the special management unit after allegedly ordering from inside of George State State Prison for gang members to gun down one of his romantic rivals in Atlanta. So he's quite busy in prison, but this is one of the biggest schemes to ever happen. And his name is Arthur Lee Cofield Jr. is accused of accessing the accounts of Sidney Kimmel. It's, he's 31. He stole the identity of the movie mo mogul. He's worth 1.5 billion, Sidney and then moved an eight-figure sum out of his account to purchase a, a, a four million dollar property rather not ten million but all he did was use the phone cell phone that he smuggled in and called the bank pretended to be this guy and they gave him the money 